KDH was founded in 2003. Clear. Most law enforcement people don't always know who we are because we stemmed with our success in the military um, in 2009. We had our first uh, millispec ballistic approved and we went on after a contract with the U.S. Army. They went out for a new plate carrier system for the soldiers in Afghanistan. When we, were, when we went for that contract, we were one of four that were submitted for the proposal that were down selected to go into theater um, to have the soldiers do a blind field evaluation study. When we did that, we the, the soldiers selected us as being the most comfortable, most durable, highest performing plate carrier in theater. There are guys in harm's way wearing your product right now. Yes, correct. So you're better known in military circles than you are in law enforcement. Right, correct. We started with the military. But that's changing. It is. We entered the LE market in 2011. We started manufacturing ballistics strictly for law enforcement. Um, from that time, we've brought out multiple ballistic packs that generally supersede anything else in industry. We've gotten lighter and thinner and more robust. And that's why some of our government contracts and feds keep coming back to us because they love our ballistics. There are some big competitors in the law enforcement market. How are you doing? We're doing well. We're holding our own. Um, it is not an easy industry, but what we focus on traditionally and truly is innovation. So we constantly want to bring the next best product to support our LE market. So some of the products that we manufacture is a semi-rigid speed plate. This is a way for an individual to up armor their concealable vest, regardless if they're in a level two or a three A, or even if they're in one of my competitors' products. They can purchase that. And this weighs, weighs, this weighs nothing. It, it's, it's extremely light. It's made of pure spectra. We manufacture these in-house. It will slide into any concealable carrier in the front pocket. And up armor to what level? 3A. Wow. And it will stop multi-hit, multi, -hit, multi um, from the wealth of rounds listed in the back. And I understand we're going to be putting that to a test later We are. Today. We're going to put about 30 rounds in this today. Excellent. What else you got? Okay, so one of our new products that we brought out and what we're going to test today is uh, our Level 2. It is truly the lightest Level 2 in industry. Wait. Tell me about this big boy here. Uh, this is, uh, we're very proud of this. This is our latest in a fearless, we call it our fearless plate carrier. It's actually... Um, it's, it's just a simplistic plate carrier that you can up armor and add the traditional entry level vests of a, a collar, a throat, the arm protectors. Sure. You can also, also add side plates. Um, but we're thrilled with this because it's modeled after um, the military's design for a new modular scalable vest system, but this is our commercial grade version that we've actually tweaked a little bit more and we feel like we've come to the market with a successful product. So today we're going to demo our highest rated level two with special threat vest. We're, um, we have our shooter here who's going to test this to all of the NIJ requirements and then some other fun rounds as well. We've got a, a nine millimeter. What kind of rounds? We've got a couple different kinds. We've got a Winchester SXT. It's a plus P plus round. We've got a gold dot hollow point, just standard ball round. We've got a 40. We've got standard ball ammo for that as well. We've got the 45 ACP with some federal law enforcement ammo, ball ammo. We've got our FN uh, 57, and we've got some blue tip ammo, 357 mag, ball ammo, and 44 mag with ball ammo. We've got our 12 gauge uh, tactical shotgun with a 12 gauge one ounce tactical slug. Okay, you can see a little difference there. And that was a 40, correct? That was a 40. So that is uh, 7 eighths. So we picked up an eighth of an inch. quarters of an inch. No, no, Sam. Shooting or officer being shot. Take a look at that. Think about all those things. So you can see how this is. The speed plate you'll be really impressed with. So this speed plate. 